these young ladies are getting rather big and I need to put together a little run for them outside so they can start getting used to the outside temperatures during the day while I'm home. And you, you are always very curious and running around trying to get my attention every day. Actually, that's going to be wrong. But I'm going to have to make multiple cuts anyway. Two, three, four, five out of each. And I need two, four, six, eight. take way too long. If only there was a faster way to do this. Yeah, it's not working. How about... That was better.
rest of them on that table? Yeah.
So, over. So last year, um, when I moved the chicks outside, I had a box that was probably, I don't know, maybe about this big, uh, by about this big. So, you know, what is that? A little over a third of this size. Um, and I like the idea, but that box fell apart last year. So I had to put something together today. Robins are whistling. <laughs> So what I've done here is I've created a little roost for them uh, because they will start roosting on their own. Um, I threw that piece of plywood in there because I'll put the food and the water on that plywood. The chips on the bottom here are just to make it easier to clean and give them something to scratch on while they're, while they're in here and as they're getting bigger. So I'm going to cover um, the back half of this and that's why I drew the lines here and here and put the, the board in for support. I'll cover the back of that with a piece of plywood. I'll just lay it on top of there um, and then I will, uh, I'll put a weight on there so that um, it won't blow off and they can't knock it off. And then I'm gonna go get some more hardware cloth because I, I like the size of the squares in, in that one, that's quarter inch. Um, and I'll put that over this side here. So that way they've got plenty of ventilation, they get plenty of air. And uh, um, it's easy for me to flip it up and flip it down to go ahead and uh, change the water to feed them. I'm gonna move the chickens out tomorrow. Uh, give them a couple of days just in the daytime out here and then move them back into the house in the evening uh, and then eventually hopefully by the end of this week they'll be out here full time uh, the wood chips that are in here are uh, white wood they're not cedar uh, do not use cedar with chickens uh, the, the oils from the cedar will kill them uh, but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out it was pretty sturdy 
Uh, when you saw me make the first one, screw the first panel in, my original thought was, well, I'll buy two sheets of plywood and then I'll just split them in half. Uh, and then I could go, you know, four foot sides, but I can't, couldn't reach over it. <laughs> that was going to be way, way too big. Uh, so I'm happy with these. These are two foot sides. Uh, I had a four, I had a half a sheet, a four by four piece of plywood sitting there. And the cool thing was that last year, um, when I bought uh, plywood for the chicken coop, when I built it, it was $100 a sheet. Um, this year, it was $96 for two. So the price has dropped by more than 50%, which is just incredible. Uh, but no, this is pretty sturdy. I like it. Um, the, the box that I had at the end of the year last year, like I said, fell apart and I went ahead and just burned it and got rid of it. Um, but this one here, I think I could use going forward, um, you know, maybe a, a future brooder if I ever get to the point where I'm actually raising chickens for, uh, um, you know, letting chickens lay their own eggs, that kind of stuff. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I've been putting this off for like a week or two and I got tomorrow off, so I thought I'd go ahead and knock this out today. We're expecting rain tomorrow, which is why I've put this awning up, um, because that way I can leave the tools out here and not worry about them getting wet. Uh, not only that, but with the chicks in the box, um, the awning keeps the direct sunlight off the top of them, so they stay a little bit cooler than they would uh, just in the direct sunlight. And that's another reason for putting that plywood on this side, too, uh, is because no matter where the angle of the sun is, they'll still have a place where they could sit here and roost um, and stay in the shade. Pretty happy with this. Cool. did get some rain today, um, but rain or shine tomorrow, it doesn't make any difference. I'm going to widen these holes all out so that the sauna tubes fit simply in there. So I have a little room to adjust them. Um, as soon as it dries out after that, I'll backfill. I'll sink the sauna tubes. I'll backfill them. I'll shoot them. Uh, a buddy of mine, Ward's got uh, uh, one of our friends. Uh, through Ward has a uh, one of those 360 degree laser levels um, and he said he'd bring it over so we'll go ahead and do it that way. I'm not going to do it the old fashioned tube of water. Um, and then we'll get everything leveled out, I'll cut it all off and then I'll get the mixer from Ward and start pouring concrete. Um, but that's where I'm kind of at with this right now. I didn't want to get too deep into it because we had uh, thunder showers were in the forecast yesterday, it rained today and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So it, I, I didn't want those sauna tubes getting wet. That's why they're where they're at. Right. Well, the rain finally showed up. that'll do all right let's do this let's make this move all right you ready come on hi come on come on there you go Trust me, you're gonna love this. 
Jeez. There we go. Thank <laughs> you.